Oh, look at our work cut out here, GP. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, what's a balloon's least favourite drink? Oh, we've had a lot of balloons on Ultimate Brain. And you know what? I've never thought to ask them what their no, least favourite drink might be. Because, you know, we subject them to so I mean, much. And you know what? Maybe I should ask them to become no, their Jimmy, friend. No, you know, maybe they, they don't like water. Maybe they don't like milk. Because, you know, it comes from cows. That might weird Jimmy, them out a little bit. Maybe we should go and ask the balloons. Uh, hey, Mr Balloon, do you have any friends no, that we can go talk to and we can learn about? It's more just about a joke. Uh, I feel a bit deflated now. <sighs> <sighs> Today, GP pumps it up. Which team's invention will be bursting with brilliance? <laughs> and can our teams handle the pressure? Oh, no. really? Get those magnificent minds at the ready. It's time for Ultimate Brain! <laughs> <laughs> Hi there. Ah, yes, the power of the internet. Yes. I got me on websites, you know, and I love vlogging on ooh, 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 tube. Hello, my name is Dr. Brain, and today I will be talking about my favourite hobbies, which include blogging, vlogging, and clogging, which goes a little bit like this. Let's get on with the show. Time to meet our teams. Uploading first, it's the Greens from Northern Ireland. It's Stephen, Rachel, and Rebecca. World Wide Webwise from Hampshire. It's Marriott, Harrison and Michaela. And our celebrity team in blue from CBBC's Whoops, I Missed the Bus. It's Laura and the Mandeville sisters Grace and Amelia. Here we go. It's time to meet the, the teams. We go. Sorry, I'm a bit tired. I had to run here because, whoops, I missed the bus. Yes, it's the Blues! <laughs> How are you, Blues? Good, good. Thanks. Good, good to meet you. You didn't miss the bus, did you? You got here on time. So on time. Marvellous. Now then, Dr Laura, you're a bit of a stand-up comedian. Yeah. What's easier, stand-up or vlogging? Vlogging is definitely easier, Definitely, yes, yes I yeah. should think so. <laughs> Doctors Mandeville. I believe you are rather experts in fashion, are you not? Yeah, we like fashion. Yeah, yeah, we do. yeah, yeah. What do you think of my fashion? Yeah? I think you look bananas. Bananas? Yeah. That's because I shop at Dolce & Banana. <laughs> oh, stop me now. What's your team name? Science Warriors. Science Warriors. OK, Yellows, how are you? Good, Good. thanks. Now oh, then, Dr Harrison, I'm picking up a vibe that you're a bit of a comedian. <laughs> Please welcome the next act, all the way from Ultimate Brain. Dr. Harrison! I went to the airport, I tripped over some luggage and I went flying. Ah! <laughs> Brilliant! What do you think of that, Dr. Laura? I thought it was really good. Don't tell too many of your jokes. She'll probably steal them. <laughs> <laughs> What's your team name? Super Ecstatic Scientist. Good to meet you, Yellows. Now then, the Greens. Where are you from, Greens? Northern Ireland. Dr. Stephen, you want to be a paleontologist, is that right? Why so? Well, it's just fun to dig things up and good to discover new things. Are you really into dinosaurs? Yeah. What's your favourite dinosaur? Brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus. <laughs> What's your team name? Fantabulous. So there you go. Those are the teams. And this is the show with the need for speed, a craving for creativity, and above all, a demand for ingenious ideas and inventions. It's time for the warm up. <laughs> <laughs> Not that type of warm up, GP. Bring me my questions. Thank you. Here we go, then, teams. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Good, good, good. Hands on brains. Here we go. Take four. Times it by four, then minus four, then times by four. Super ecstatic scientists! 48. Is right! <gasps> what a lot of fours. What word am I spelling backwards? E S U O H N E E R G. Super ecstatic scientists! Genius! No, I'm afraid it's greenhouse. What is this sound? Fantabulists! Donkey? Is the right answer! How many letters are there in the word ultimate? Super ecstatic scientists! Eight! Is right! Now, 
put yourselves in order of how far you can stick out your tongue from the shortest this side to the longest that side. And go, and then press your buttons. Science warriors! Let's have a look. Do we think? Yes, I think that's right. Well done, you blues. <laughs> Good job, blues, but yellows take the lead. Wow, what a fantastic round. And that was just the warm-up. Let's heat things up with the ignition round. <laughs> We've got a good experiment to do now. Haven't we, my good friend, Chick? Guinea... Where is he? Guinea pig? What are you doing over there? So, to get the ultimate brainy look, what you need to do is use this and then go around the inside of the eye. Hey, stop vlogging and come over here, GP. Come so, on! Brain, I was just doing some internet research on quantum entanglement. Oh, hurry up. Come on, come on, come on. So, teams, what do you think I've got here? No a idea. Bottle. A bottle, that's right. And what does this look like? Oh, right. That's right. A pump, which is going to be activated by guinea power. And that's going to pump air all the way along this tube into this bottle, which contains just a little bit, can you see, just a little bit of medical alcohol. So we're going to place it in like this, seal it off and hold that there while guinea pig pumps away. And then I'm going to remove the tube and I'm going to ask you what's going to happen. Your options are as follows. A. A thick cloud will form inside the bottle. B. The bottle will collapse in on itself. C. The bottle will emit a rather rude and loud raspberry noise. Or D. Yes, like that. Or D. Something else. Something only you have thought of. Or perhaps you have thought of. Your thinking time starts now! Four options here. Yeah, I thought that. At first I thought it was someone, but now I don't think it is. Have you got your answer? That's it! That's it! Thinking time is over! It's time to see your answers right now! Let's have a look. A, oh. A and C. <laughs> I'm going to ask you, Blues, why C? Good question. We just kind of cancelled it out. We think that it's going to just sort of equalise the pressure because it's just medical alcohol, so yes. it's, it, it's around air anyway, so I don't yeah. see why that would create a reaction. Um, I don't think it's going to collapse in because it's just going to sort of equalise, yeah, I think. That, that. Oh, see, so oh, you've eliminated those two and yeah. you've gone for yeah. that one, and also because it might be the funniest. Yeah. Yes, yes, that does happen. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So you think it's going to make a very rude noise. It's going to force out a kind of a <laughs> noise. I think so. Now then, we have two A's over here. I'm going to ask the Greens first. There was one reason why I didn't think it could be C's, because it usually it only makes a noise like that when there's like pressure and it's trying to get through it, but that's yeah. quite a big hole, so it can just come through easily. Oh, I see, right. Yeah. And then yeah. I don't think it's B. I don't really know why. I just don't think it is. And then D, we couldn't think of anything, so we sort of just went for A. You've gone for A. Yeah. OK, very interesting. Yellows, what's your thinking? Well, I think that, um, cos I've done an experiment on home about um, if you get um, a tray and you put ice on top of it and you get hot water and you put the tray on top of the jug, yes. a cloud forms inside. I think that's ah. what's going to happen with the bottle. And that's the difference between the temperatures that causes the cloud. Very interesting. Well, I wonder if they're going to be right. How are your muscles, GP? Let's have a feel. Oh, yes, they're like iron. Iron that's been melted down into a very soft fudge. <laughs> Come on, let's have a go. Activate. Now, I'm just placing the bung into the top of the bottle, nice and strong like that. OK, GP, you ready? Three, two, one, pump! Pump it up, pump it up! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pumping away, the pressure going in. A few more, I think. There we go, right. Now, let's have a look then, shall we? <laughs> two things happen. One, it goes bang, it scares the life out of everybody. And two, a cloud has formed! As the air is squeezed into the bottle, it gets warmer and the liquid starts to evaporate into a vapour. When the lid is taken off, the pressure is released, turning the vapour back into millions of droplets suspended in the bottle, giving a cloud. Now, here's an interesting thing. Let's give it another pump. So, look what happens here, look. Here, when you pump it again, it all disappears. Oh, you see. 
and then it comes back again. It's very similar to the way that changes in air pressure create the clouds in the sky. So that's ten points for the yellows and the greens! Yeah. Well done! <laughs> Smoke signals. Hello. It is time for the next round! Ah, oh, look at that. I well fit me. Fit as a fiddle. Yeah, poor old guinea pig isn't, though. He's absolutely exhausted. He was on his hamster wheel all morning, going round and round and round and round and round and round like that. So he said, Dr. Brain, can I go for a nap, please? So I said, yes, fine, off you go. And then I suddenly remembered I'd been using his bed to store all my balloons. Oh, no, on the bottom and on the top. So I've asked my teams to come up with some clever contraptions and devious devices to help us to pop all the balloons as quickly as possible. I gave them each a budget of 50 million pounds divided by a million and two days to come up with their designs. Teams must help GP sort out his spot for slumber and think of a way to help him burst as many of the balloons above and below him on his bed as possible. The plan that manages to burst the most balloons at the time provided will earn a gigantic ten points! Here he is! He's absolutely bursting with sleepiness. Mr Guinea Pig! <laughs> shh, 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 don't wake him up. Um, hi, mm. GP. All right? Yeah, I just can't wait to have my nap. Yes, yes, I'm sure it's going to be lovely. Off you go, then. Oops, don't tell him. Oh, I hope your plans are going to be good. Yellows, why does guinea pig look like he's got the O2 on his head? Uh, we were thinking that he could jump up and down so he could get the balloons on the top. Um, he's got um, these spikes on his feet to cover more surface area. Good scientific thinking. What else? What about his knees and his elbows? What's well, on there? Well, he's accident prone so when he like falls over the balloons will pop good thinking and what's he holding sticks with spikes on the end like spears it's looking pretty sharp isn't he pretty mm. sharp <laughs> marvelous stuff mm. well what's your plan called spiky, spiky sonic, sonic suit. suit the super ecstatic scientists have given gp two large poles with single spikes at either end for added reach a pair of prickly shoes, and, knowing he's forever falling over, they've also cunningly added spikes to his protective pads. Topping the plan is a helmet covered in sharp pencils. With so many elements to the yellow's design, something's got to work, hasn't it? Hasn't it? Three, two, one, go, GP! <laughs> Popcorn-making machine. <laughs> Use your elbow pads. Use your elbow pads. Use your elbow pads. That's it. You tell it. You tell it. That's it. Oh, good work. Look at that. <laughs> Keep on going. Keep on going. <laughs> there, that's it. You've got so many options. Come on. Amazing. There we go. Let's time up. Well That's done. time up. How do you think your plan went there, yellows? Really good, really good, yeah. Really good, wasn't it? You had so many options, you didn't know quite what to do. Guinea pig, how are you feeling? I'm popped. Some perfect popping there, but what about those pencils? They made less of a mark on the task in hand and really just made marks on the balloons. It is the soft properties of graphite that make it so useful for writing with. As its layers of carbon atoms slide over each other with weak forces between them, it slips easily from pencil to paper, hence the need for regular sharpening. So, here we have the blue plan. Why is guinea pig dressed up like Dot Cotton? <laughs> we thought, you know, to help him get into character. Ah, oh, nice, yeah. nice touch, yeah. yes, I like that. So, talk me through your plan. Well, we're hoping with the litter picker and the spikes on his feet, he can hold the balloons in place. Yep. Yeah. Yes. And then the hoover is for the top. There's a technique yeah. to this. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's called the crazy. We tried it at home. <laughs> it's actually my own brand of vacuum cleaner called an hoover. So, What's the name of your plan? The Balloonatron. The Balloonatron. Oh, I like that. How do you feel, GP? This is probably the most ridiculous idea we've ever had on Ultimate Brain, Dr. Brain. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> the Science Warriors Balloonatron uses spikes on GP's feet 
with a litter picker to stabilise the balloons, ready to be kicked. For the balloons above, they provided a vacuum cleaner and hose that they're hoping will have the suction power to pop. So, will they clean up? Or does this plan suck? Ha 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 ha! It's time to find out! Yes. Three, two, one! Go, guinea pig! Oh, yes! Yeah. Right, yeah. 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 Come on, you want to Come on, just keep kicking! Yeah, keep kicking! Yeah. Quite well, I think. <laughs> yeah. Good kicking, get a bit. Oh Put some God. foot into it. Go on. Do you dance, mate? What are you doing? Hey. Sorry, Blues, but not a lot of cleaning up going on there. That ooh ooh over is ooh ooh over with nowhere near enough suction power. Now here we are with the green plan. It looks quite simple. What's it called? Pins and needles. And what is the theory behind your plan? What guinea pig is going to do is he's going to try and pop the balloons at the top, and when he's bringing the pole back down, he's going to try and pop the balloons on the bottom. So you want him to hold it upright like yeah. that and go up down up down up down like that you're getting that gp you know what i wasn't too sure about this idea so i slept on it but then i woke up with a funny feeling <laughs> the fantabulists have created pins and needles a gladiator style weapon for gp to take into battle using two spheres at each end of this pugil stick provides a large curved surface area so when covered in spikes allows them to be positioned at lots of different angles each cactus technology hombre the lightweight pole in this two-pronged attack provides easy manoeuvring to stab at balloons above and below in one go! Three, two, one, go get it! Oh, well, have a cup of tea or something. <laughs> there it goes! Wow, greens. So many small spikes stabbing at once was super. Pushing through the rubber material spaghetti-like polymer strands for popping power. Well, teams, that was poptastically balloon mungus. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. Yes. Right, we like popping balloons, don't we? I'm bursting with pride, etc. <laughs> so then, blues didn't quite come off, did it? No. I'm afraid you only got 23 out of the 200 balloons. Not a great success, I'm afraid, so no points for you. Yellows, you did pretty well, didn't you, I thought? Headbanger! Well, I can tell you, you got 119. Out of 200, that's pretty good, isn't it? But greens. <laughs> There's not a balloon left in the world <laughs> that you haven't popped. 99 red balloons floating in the summer sky. <laughs> you should take it up as a job. Balloon poppery. <laughs> Amazing. You got all of them, and therefore you get 10 points! <laughs> And yellows, because you did so well and you got over 50%, I'm going to give you five points! <laughs> Me and Guinea Pig, we're getting ready for the party. The party is going to be so great and I just can't wait. It's going to be so fun. we got loads of balloons. Oh, no, we haven't, because we just popped them all. Oh, no, what are we going to do? Oh, I know. Party blowers. Yes, that's what we'll do. So, here's how it's going to work. Each of our contestants has their very own party blower. When they hear the guinea pig squeal, they're going to give it a toot. And the first party blower that reaches full length, it's going to be the winner! 
Are you ready, teams? Yes. yes. Here we go, then, facing forward. Come on, Steven. Come on, Steven. Oh! Woohoo! Top blowing, one and all. But it's clearly between the blues and the yellows. In slow motion. Well, blow me away! I'm certainly ready for a party after that. So there we have slow motion confirmation of the fact that the Blues get ten points! Oh, well done, you yeah. Blues! Come on, then, time for the next round. <laughs> blues back in the game, getting ten points! So, Gunners, old bean, what do you know about pressure? I know a lot about pressure, Dr. Brain, because, you know, whenever we do the challenges, I feel that the success of it all rests on my shoulders, and I feel a lot of pressure. Under pressure. Well, don't worry, GP, because the pressure's all on the contestants with this one. Phew. Now, what they have here is some measuring beakers, and they have a hose, which itself has quite a low pressure. And they can use any of those objects there, or none of them if they want, to get the water from the hose into the beakers. We've got a sponge, a ruler, a water soaker, a little measuring beaker and some pipettes. And the one who gets the most water over into the beakers wins! The challenge being that the tap is very low pressure. Ooh, drippy. Do you think you can do it, GP? Yeah. Let's hope our teams are a little bit more inspired. Three, two, one! Okay. Right, so we fill these off and then we all get so we all get one every No, that wouldn't do as well. Just could you like pour that over? Yeah. There? So we all need to get we'll one. Just go. No, we all need to get one. Agree on something, Greens. Okay, where's some water? Why is it not coming? Going well, Dr. Well, Grace. Come on, really. I'm definitely using this. <laughs> Creative thinking from the yellows. Oh, this is useless. <laughs> Mario! <laughs> well, at least they're having fun. Stephen, you oh, go and bring that over. Yeah, yeah. Go, okay. go over it and think. Steady. Steady. So what? Should we soak the sponge? Yeah, just soak the sponge and then... Like, and then... <laughs> you know you're allowed to put your hand over it. <laughs> Wait, no, let me use this. Let me use this. <laughs> Yeah, I can't feel it. I can't feel it. What? Right. Laura, you've got the best one. There. <laughs> and use, and then Rachel go over and squeeze it out. And I don't think this is much use. Will Dr. It be? Rebecca taking the lead. <laughs> I can't. How does this work? Wait. Oh, I don't know how to <laughs> fill this up. Um, put it under the hose. Teams who can work well under pressure will do well at this game. Well That's under working. pressure. Hold it a bit longer, Amelia. Wait. Oop. Maybe you can line yeah, it off. You go over it, like... line it off. Yeah. But I couldn't. Are you feeling the pressure? No, oh, I'm not. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. Um, oh, really? um, um, yeah, you could, like, catch that at the end, so then you don't need to come running back. Eh. See, you can do that. Yes. But that will get in the ruler. Wait, Laura, come here. Fill that up. Wait a minute. Not long left. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> I'm filling up the same ones, guys. Ten seconds. <laughs> what? <laughs> See, you can do that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's your time up! That's your time up! <laughs> so, that was a funny old challenge, wasn't it? How did you find it? It was quite hard. Quite hard, wasn't it? Now, there was a clue which I gave to you all. Do you remember hearing these words? Teams that work well under pressure... Pressure. Pressure. pressure, pressure. pressure. Will do well. Well, 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 well. Are, Are you feeling, feeling the pressure? Pressure. 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 pressure? pressure, pressure, pressure. Do you remember hearing me say that? Yeah. yeah. Well, that was the clue. Now, Dr Marriott of the Yellows is going to help me to demonstrate how you should have done it. What you're going to do, Dr Marriott, is you're going to place your thumb or finger of your choosing over half of the end of the hose for me. Can you do that? That has increased the pressure, and if you try and fire it at the cups... Uh, there we go! Uh, you see? What's happened is you've increased the pressure of the water by decreasing the area through which it can go, you see? 
Ah, that's how you should have done it. Lateral thinking. Nobody thought of it. But I can reveal that the team that got the most water into the cups was... The Blue! <laughs> and you get ten points. So that brings us all oh, to play no ball five. as we go into the final round. Trying to put pressure on my nerves, keep them all intact, because it's all to play for as we go into the last round. Are you ready, teams? Yes! Here we go, hands on brains. True or false? Cows sleep standing up. Science warriors! True. No, it's false. <laughs> Which clawed crustacean beginning with L has blue blood? Super ecstatic scientists! Lobsters? Is right. And the Queen, of course. Which country is famous for its great war? Science warriors! China. It's correct. Yes. Trees that keep their cool. leaves all year round are known as fantabulists. Evergreens. Correct! True or false? The tomato is a vegetable. Science warriors! False! False! Yes. Which famous forest produces 20% of the world's oxygen? Science warriors! Amazon rainforest. rainforest. The Amazon rainforest, yes, you said it. What is the largest desert in the world? The fantabulists! Sahara. The Sahara is correct. I nearly said dessert. True or false? Most species of moth are nocturnal. Science warriors! True. true. It's true! Yes. True or false? It is impossible to sneeze with your eyes open. Science warriors! True. No, it's false, you can! Look at this! Achoo! Which colourful birds can see behind them without turning their head? Super ecstatic scientists! Owls? No, it's a parrot! <laughs> ah, that's time! Wow, what an incredible round that was! An incredible game we've had, and now I can reveal. And in third place, with 21, it's the Yellows! Well done, well done, you played very well. Well done. In second place, with 26, it's the Greens! <laughs> so that means the winners, with 30 points, you just <laughs> make it in your Well done, you Blues, there we go. So the Blues are the winners today, but everyone's a winner in this game. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. See you again for more Ultimate Brain! Fascinating things, balloons. Hey, Dr. Brain, I feel so bad about bursting all those balloons during the show. I didn't know what to ask the balloons oh, about what their least favourite drink is. What's going on about that? It was just a joke, GP. It's oh. a silly joke. What's a balloon's least favourite drink? Pop! <laughs> As in fizzy pop. Do you see? see. You don't see. He doesn't see. Oh, let's burst my balloon. <laughs> Oh, we've got our work cut out here, GP. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, what's a balloon's least favourite drink? Oh, we've had a lot of balloons on Ultimate Brain. And you know what? I've never thought to ask them what their no, least favourite drink might be. Because, you know, we subject them to so we... much. And you know what? Maybe I should ask them to become no, their GP, friend. No, you know, maybe they, they don't like water. Maybe they don't like milk. Because, you know, it's... it comes from cows. That might weird GP, them out a little bit. It's... Maybe we should go and ask the balloons. Uh, hey, Mr Balloon, do you have any friends no, that we can go talk to and we can learn about? It's more just about a joke. Ju I feel a bit deflated now. <sighs> <sighs> Today, GP pumps it up. Which team's invention will be bursting with brilliance? <laughs> and can our teams handle the pressure? Oh, no. really? Get those magnificent minds at the ready. It's time for Ultimate Brain! <laughs> <laughs> Hi there. Ah, yes, the power of the internet. Yes. I got me on websites, you know, and I love vlogging on ooh, 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 tube. Hello, my name is Dr. Brain, and today I will be talking about my favourite hobbies, which include blogging, vlogging, and clogging, which goes a little bit like this. Let's get on with the show. Time to meet our teams. Uploading first, it's the Greens from Northern Ireland. It's Stephen, Rachel, and Rebecca. 
World Wide Webwise from Hampshire. It's Marriott, Harrison and Michaela. And our celebrity team in blue from CBBC's Whoops, I Missed the Bus. It's Laura and the Mandeville sisters Grace and Amelia. Here we go. It's time to meet the, the teams. We go. Sorry, I'm a bit tired. I had to run here because, whoops, I missed the bus. Yes, it's the Blues. <laughs> How are you, Blues? Good, good. Good, good. good to meet you. You didn't miss the bus, did you? You got here on time. We're We're here. On time. Marvellous. Now then, Dr Laura, you're a bit of a stand-up comedian. Yeah. What's easier, stand-up or vlogging? Vlogging is definitely easier, Definitely, yes, yes I yeah. should think so. <laughs> Doctors Mandeville. I believe you are rather experts in fashion, are you not? Yeah, we like fashion. Yeah, yeah, we do. yeah, yeah. What do you think of my fashion? Yeah? I think you look bananas. Bananas? Yeah. That's because I shop at Dolce & Banana. <laughs> oh, stop me now. What's your team name? Science Warriors. Science Warriors.